Hi everyone. This morning we'd like to introduce you to the E015, the latest addition to the Blend E-Series mobile mixing plants. Like all the Blend E-Series machines, the E015 carries all of the materials so when you reach the job site, you can immediately start producing concrete, cementious materials, cold asphalt, whatever you need. So, each separate component required to produce your concrete is carried on board the machine. For example, here we hold the aggregates, which can be either a premixed sand and gravel mix or two compartments, one for gravel and one for sand. At the rear of the machine, we have the cement silo, the mixer, the placing belt, and just moving around again to this side of the machine, the onboard control box and the water tank here. So the E015 has been created ideally to reach those job sites which are very inaccessible with standard machines, even the other Blend E-Series plants. The other advantage of the E015, as you can see, in this case it's on hydraulic pistons, but it can also be placed on a semi-trailer or a trailer to tow behind your pickup or your work van. Like all blend plants, this plant can be fixed on a vehicle as well, but in this case, which has been designed to tow on a trailer, it has hydraulic outriggers. So these outriggers are very robust. As I say, they're hydraulic and they're controlled by the diesel engine and also the same radio remote control that we use to produce the concrete. On this side of the machine, as I said before, we have the aggregate hoppers, the cement silo. Here we have the onboard water tank. In this case, it's 500 liters. Then we have the water pump. Here. And the water meter. So like all blend plants, this plant is also equipped with an onboard automatic greasing system. This greasing system greases regularly all of the key parts of the machine which need to be greased. Liquids are controlled by electronic flow meters. Here we have the flow meter for the water. On the other side of the machine, there's an electronic flow meter which controls the flow of the additives. This machine can manage up to three different liquid additives at the same time. So this is a hydraulic plant, the onboard hydraulic system. Here we have the cooler, the hydraulic oil tank, and here we have the hydraulic pump connected to the diesel engine. Here we have the onboard auxiliary diesel engine. It's a 25 kilowatt Yanmar diesel engine. And then of course, the diesel tank holding 42 liters. All Blend E series plants are automatically controlled by the onboard control panel here. Now, from this control panel, you can operate all features of the machine, including the recipe menu. This recipe menu can contain up to 42 different recipes. So, the control panel is connected to the CPU on the machine, which is in this easily accessible control panel. As we said previously, the control panel controls all of the movements of the machine, but it's done this because the sensors on the blend are connected to weigh cells and flow meters. So all of the solid materials, that's the cement and the aggregates, they are weighed before going into the mixer, according to the recipe. Here on the cement silo, we have three load cells, one here, one here, and one at the back. The reliability and the tolerance of these load cells is excellent and it permits us to expect, respect the recipe of the mix every time. So here we are at the business end of the machine. As we said before, all of the materials are weighed and measured before entering the mixer according to the recipe. So the blend mixer, which is the most or one of the most important parts of the machine, let's look at it in a little bit more detail. So first of all, people say, how does the mixer work? How do you open the mixer? Let's see how to do that. So, as you can see, it's a single ribbon mixer. This ribbon mixer is capable of mixing all kinds of material 
And the secret to this kind of ribbon mixer, and it's been studied over many, many years, is that it mixes small quantities of material continuously and very quickly. And so in this way, by the end of the mixer and by the discharge point, the material is homogeneously mixed. So one of the distinctive features of the blend mixing system is that all of the materials enter the mixer progressively, separately, and therefore it allows a certain degree of pre-mixing. Here from the cement silo, the cement screw carries the cement into the first part of the mixer here. The second component to enter the mixer is the water and the liquid additives, if these are present in the recipe. These are pre-mixed here in this water pipe and enter the mixer here. At this point, the mixer is turning and mixing cement and water and additive together, making a kind of grout. The next step is that you have two aggregates, sand and gravel. So the sand enters and is mixed with the grout and starts making a mortar. Then the gravel enters and it's mixed with this mortar and therefore this premix allows the mixer to continue mixing and by the time we reach the discharge point here, you have perfectly mixed concrete. As we said before, this mixer is capable of mixing all kinds of materials, all different grades of concrete from very liquid to very dry, different strengths concrete from, let's say, 10 Newton meters to 60 Newton meters, cold asphalt, mortars, grouts, epoxy concrete, shotcrete, screed. It's a perfect mixing machine for all kinds of materials. One machine mixes all. So once the finished concrete has reached the end of the mixer, it discharges onto the placing belt. Now, Blend produces two different kinds of placing belts on the E-Series products. One is a three meter fixed belt like this one, which has a slewing range of 155 degrees. The second one is a telescopic belt which reaches up to 4.5 meters in length, but adding two shoots on the end, you can get to seven meters. So imagine, without you moving the machine, you can move the belt 155 degrees and cover a great range without having to turn on the truck, move the machine, and whatever. The belt in particular, but the start-stop of the machine, is controlled also by the radio remote control. There are six buttons here to control the belt, up, down, left, right, in, out. The start-stop mechanism we mentioned before, that starts and stops the production. And then while you're producing, all of those people on the end, they want the concrete to be liquid or drier. So you can add or take out five liters of water with just one press of the button. That's five liters per cubic meter while you're producing. Emergency stop, very important, of course. And then the last feature of this machine is that because we have a placing belt, you can increase or decrease the speed of the placing belt depending on the type of material you're trying to lay. The E015, the perfect new addition to the Blend E-Series mixing plants.